All right, so today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video, and I am going to be going over Arc 2, the trailer, and what I think this game will entail, and just my thoughts on it. Now, these are 100% my thoughts and opinions on this. None of this stuff I'm saying is correct or wrong or anything like that. It's just completely 100% me and what I think it is. But if you find yourself enjoying the video at any point, just be sure to give it a like. And I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about it as well. My dad tells stories of a terrible war that happened across the sky. Heroes fought and died to give us a chance to start over. So I thought this was pretty cool. I didn't know that the implants were actually like in the bone this way. Uh, I don't know if that's like a new thing or what. Blurry, blurry picture here. But... That would be cool if this game, if any of you guys have played uh, Icarus or any any game like that, like there's actually like bones when the bodies are dismembered, I guess. <laughs> so that would be pretty cool. Like instead of your body just disappearing and there being a bag, maybe there's bones left. Uh, same with the dinos too. That that would be a cool feature. All that I know from their Earth are the creatures they sent along with us. And everything just looks really good. And like, here on Arat, every day is a fight to survive. Like, even these guys, like, I think they're raptors. They they look kind of like raptors. I mean, they got the toe there. There's the toe. So, I don't know why they're fighting each other over some bones, but I guess, uh, I guess it's tough here on the Ark. <laughs> Contain this new world, we can. I wonder if he's just <laughs> okay. So, I wonder if he's just gonna grunt like Groot, you know, <laughs> like if he's just gonna do that. And she's the one with uh full English speech, which is kind of crazy. Like, back when Ark first came out, I always was curious about. If they were going to implement something like this, like in the sense of people being able to have kids and stuff, because I mean, if you're on the arc for a long time, you would think that that's what happened. I mean, that's what every movie pushes towards is some kind of romantic interest or something like that. So, um, yeah, eventually babies would be made. <laughs> so really curious how this gameplay is going to be, uh, if they're going to go for more like RPG kind of aspect to it where you can make tribes and you can build relationships maybe like a little bit like the sims in some ways but yeah i think that's like really interesting and then this guy just looks cool i love i love this so much like i love how it looks like he just like customized his own dino Then we got all the creatures, all the creatures in the arc. Oh, is that Triceratops? Triceratops. That's cool. If you're going to be able to, like, customize, like, saddles and stuff, that, that could be really, really cool. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these screenshots. So I think all these screenshots are from the trailer here, but yeah, all these are from the trailer. Yeah, so I'm curious if they're going to have an actual, like, I guess, set thing that you could stick on or if you can customize all the little bits and pieces on your dinos um and even like his outfit and stuff like i think i think this is cool like this little like fur skirt <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool it looks looks a little like conan like i don't know like i really enjoy that game too how you can customize so many things just the different armor sets and just so much stuff even just the building materials and things um but yeah, like, I wonder if they're going to show you how they actually stick the implants in. Because that could be cool. Could definitely be a cool scene. And since it seems like they're more, like, story-driven now, like... It's like, are the choices going to be more restrictive? What you can and can't do in the game. I think this was, like, one of the first screenshots. from what I, re I remember seeing this picture a, a few times. 
and stuff. But they are planning on releasing the game in 2023. I don't know how well that's going to happen <laughs> because it's just like they've always pushed stuff back, which is fine. I mean, I'm fine with it. I, I have fun playing, you know, the first arc and things because it's just like we don't even know like what gameplay is going to look like. Um, they are like describing it a little bit here. So we got uh, survive the past and tame the future. Suddenly awaken on a strange primal world filled with dinosaurs and humans struggling for dominance. You must piece together the history of how you arrived there. Team up with legendary heroes and confront powerful dark forces seeking to control the fate of all life. Saddle up and join the definite next generation survival experience with Arc 2. Every aspect of Arc the series has been rethought and redesigned in this sequel. Here's a sampling of the new features that Arc 2 will contain upon its initial early access release. So, the fact that they're like, I don't, like, whose decision was that? That they were going to completely redesign the game? Like, I don't know, I just feel like a lot of people like Arc for what it is now, and they just want improvements on what's there already. I am, like, me personally, I'm a huge fan of, like, RPGs and, and games like that that are super story heavy and have a bazillion different ways you can go and each little way is like intricate as a last so that could be cool but that's a huge game that's it's so big and it's just like how are you going to actually do that with a game like this and make it still feel like arc as opposed to another game that has to do with dinosaurs i guess so revolutionary cross-platform modding fully stackable user creative mods for new creatures items gameplay features and maps are now distributed across all platforms, along with support for modded unofficial servers. So that's pretty cool. Every time they make a game cross-platform, I'm all for it. You know, I think cross-platform is the way to go because it's just like, there's so many different people with different likes and needs and things like that. And then it's just like, it's just hard. It's just hard to play with your friends sometimes when you have to actually buy a separate game on a separate console and it's too much. Like everything should be cross-platform. I feel like no matter what it is. Best in class, third person only gameplay. Advanced character traversal, traversal, yeah. Advanced character traversal mechanics like mantling, free climbing, parkour, sliding, and swinging. Hmm. This could be good. I play a lot of third person games, but at the same time, like I feel like the first person aspect of Ark is like part of it. I like that you can go between first person and third person, but I don't know, we'll just have to see how this is going to be because it's just like, I feel like with something like that, they could have done maybe a first person parkour kind of thing, like Dying Light or even like Mirror's Edge or something like that. Souls like melee combat, target lot, blocks, dodges, combos, staggers, special attacks, emphasizing player skill based action. So I don't, I might get... <laughs> I might get crap for this, but I don't really like the Souls games. I like the idea of them, but for me personally, it's too hard for me. Like, I don't, I don't know. And it's funny because I play Ark and a lot of people are like, oh, Ark is so hard and they can't even get past getting a Dodo. To me, like, I don't know. It's just maybe it's just because I built up over the years and stuff. Like, to me, it's not as difficult as Dark Souls. Like, Dark Souls, I don't like trying to play a game on perfect. Like it's saying souls like combat, but I'm curious if it could be more along the lines of like something like Assassin's Creed, where it's like, you do have to still do all the same stuff, but there is like a little bit of freedom. I feel like, uh, where you have target locks, blocks, dodges, you have to do all that stuff, but it makes more sense. And I feel like it flows a little bit better. All right, so massive new alien environment. So I feel it'll be more set up like Genesis than maybe, I don't know. Component based item crafting. That's pretty cool. Like if you can completely customize like your outfits and gear and saddles and things like that, that, that makes it really, really fun because then it makes it, I know I've played like some games like Assassin's Creed has done that before where you have to actually go and hunt for certain things and you can put the stuff on your, you know, gear and uh, it gives it a unique look just to your character. So I like that a lot. Dynamic world events. That's also really cool too. So like actual like storms and maybe volcanoes or something like I, I like that mechanic a lot opposing pve force that's also a really cool mechanic uh in conan exiles there's like a mechanic like that where 
you actually get like purged, I guess. And it happens, I forget how many in-game days it is, but like there's a timer that happens. And when that goes, then everything will attack you. And it's pretty cool because then it makes you actually fortify your base correctly and uh, defend it. So I also like that as well. Well, I used to play PvP a lot, but there's a lot of trolls and a lot of people who have just too much time. I guess it's just like, it gets to be a bit much. So it's like, I like the chaoticness of it. And I also like that it's not predictable. Uh, so I do miss that, but like having a PVE force where, you know, they actually know where your, your base is. Uh, Valheim also has a mechanic like that as well, which I think is pretty cool. So that could be very interesting as well. And advanced template building and sharing. I think maybe some like builders might be a little bit mad about that, but I don't know, like me personally, like I like actually like building stuff out. So I could see where certain set structures or buildings, like if you were trying to make like a blacksmith building or something like that, and you didn't want to actually build it yourself, that could be pretty fun. Sensory based creature AI. That's super cool too. Like I think that's a great mechanic to have because that's how it would be realistically, you know? One of the things that I actually liked about Ark from the beginning was that it forced you to think creatively and it forced you to do certain things in order to progress. And something like this is going to change the game a good bit. It's going to make you have to either set up different traps or set up a different strategy on how you go into actual battles and stuff. So that, that's very cool as well. Character progression and skill system. So I guess they're kind of doing more of like an RPG approach with this. Maybe along the lines of like Final Fantasy-esque or something where you can level up your character a certain way. I'm not sure how this will go. I mean, I guess it's the same like what we do now in Ark, where you can place your points in certain areas and they affect yourself a little bit, but I feel like to the extent of what they're talking about here, it might be like really, really game changing. So that, that'll be interesting to see. Yeah, so I'm, I'm very excited to see what this game is going to bring. I really don't know what to expect. I really hope that it doesn't disappoint like a lot of people are like talking about and stuff. Um, I just, I think it's going to be a way different game. I think it's going to be a way different game than what it was before. Uh, I really hope that it keeps a lot of the elements that make Ark Ark, but I don't know. It's like, I'm excited to see, I'm, I'm excited to see any gameplay that comes out. I hope they release something soon on that. But yeah, uh, when it does come out, when the actual game does come out, I will be playing it definitely for sure. Like, what do you guys think is going to happen? Like, what do you, what are your thoughts? What are your feelings on Arc 2 coming out? You know, let me know down below in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like as it helps me out a lot. And feel free to subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of Arc content and when Arc 2 comes out, I'm definitely playing that for sure. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.